So Beyonce is in her country phase right now. Um, Okay, um, I get it. You know, this ain't Texas, it ain't Hold'em. Uh, my kids just say that over and over and over and over and over again. It's a nice start to a song. But uh, the next version has a bit of Dolly Parton's Jolene in it, but apparently this is empowering. Has she actually read the words that she was singing? Can I tell you something? Like, why do we have to... Break? It's fine that they make a queen out of Beyonce. I don't yeah. totally understand why. I mean, she's, uh, she's a good singer. I, she's talented. I, I, I don't deny that. Why does it have to be, yes, queen, queen bay? No, she's not a queen. People like her music. She sings some good music. That's it, okay? She didn't cure cancer. She's not Marie Curie. Calm down. Um, but So now she decides to, to take a step into the country lane, and the, it's like country music has been remade. It's remade. Is it? Okay, we have a new player in country music. Country music has been around for a long, long time. It goes right to the heart of America. And most Americans in red states have been loving and enjoying it long before Queen Bay decided to stick her big toe into the lane. But fine, okay, she comes over. She makes an album, which, of course, because she's queen, has Amazing. gotten the thumbs up and the promotion from Michelle Obama, oh. from Vice President Kamala oh. Harris, from Paul McCartney, from Dolly Parton herself. She's no dummy. She called everybody and said, I need you to do me this favor and say you love my album, which they did. Back me in. But she takes Jolene, which is such a catchy song by Dolly Parton. And Jolene, one of the, the most interesting thing about that song, in addition to its catchy tune, is the story it tells. It tells the story of a very insecure woman who sees another woman who she thinks and strongly believes is much more attractive than she is with her auburn hair and her green I eyes. I love the auburn and hair she knows yeah, and she, well, she knows Jolene can steal her man away. Now, this doesn't say good things about her man, but she knows that it could happen. And instead of, like, going over and threatening Jolene, what she does is begs Jolene not to take her man away. She begs her, saying, I know you could do it, but I'm begging you, please don't, because for me, he's the only guy there is. And that's an interesting window into an insecure woman's heart. Uh, and it's also kind of clever because she flatters Jolene like it's a smart but insecure woman. Anyway, that's the story of the song, or at least it used to be. Queen Bey got her hands on the song, and God forbid she sing anything that make her look less than, you know, all empowered with the muscle. And so now she's got to change it to, if you come by my man, I'm basically going to beat the hell out of you. I'm going to okay. beat you up. Is th Those are the, right, like... Take that, biatch. And she uses the B word in the song. Ooh. And she, she turned Jolene into her version of a yeah. badass. Because that's what modern day feminism looks like. By the way, completely missing that the true power move is to write a song about Jolene not even worrying about this. Jolene has no worries because her man loves her and is committed to her and would never cheat on Jolene. So the most beautiful woman in the world could come walking by. She's good. But Queen Bey doesn't understand that. She's got to pretend she's tough, which only telegraphs to those of us who are paying attention that she isn't. The whole thing is bass backwards, and I object. Yeah, also, the uh, look, you know, if, if this current version, uh, the redoing ain't doing it for you and the Dolly Parton one is a little bit too old for you, can I play Goldilocks here for a second? There's a magnificent version that Miley Cyrus uh, did. Uh, it's very sort of low-key and she's kept on all of her clothes for most of it. Um, it's a good version of it, if you get the chance. 